just be in the zone. I mean, I'm not sure how many um, strikes I've thrown, but just be in the zone. When you're in a situation where maybe the manager would like to not use the bullpen much, do you go into, I mean, you were very economic at the beginning of the game. Are you thinking about the length going into it? Yeah, I think everyone's role is basically different um, in the aspect of kind of what they do. And my my job's always that, to eat innings. It's not punch guys out or anything like that. It's just to eat innings. So not a different game plan today, but, yeah, just eat innings. What was that last uh, that last out like? Jeremy came out there. Was that a matter of emptying the tank? You know, those gonna be your last batter. And what's it like? What's it feel like to get him on three pitches to end the night like that? Yeah, it was. Uh, we threw um, a lot of sinkers inside to him, and it was. Do you want to go to the well again one more time, or kind of change it up? So, um, two two bad two or three batters before that, I threw a really good cutter down in a way. So I was like, I'm just gonna try that first. I think. It's going to be a swing and miss if he, if he tries that because he's going to be protecting inside um, and then go back to it. So, um, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Buck has extended you, not just tonight, but in other starts this season in ways that he really hasn't most other pitchers. Uh, how much pride do you take in just the fact that he has that trust in you to do it? I've done that for years. And that's, I mean, Bo Mel did that with me in Oakland. Um, and I think genuinely that's why they brought me over here was just for that reason. Um, I'm not afraid to go over 100 pitches, um, and it really doesn't affect me. So, yeah, I'm confident going past 100. Um, I don't think my stuff declines. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. How are you able to hold your stuff for 114 pitches? Work your butt off. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. I mean, just um, don't slack in between starts, and just conditioning-wise, make sure you're ready to go. I mean... I, I want to go 115, 120 pitches every start, but Buck don't let me, so. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most you would feel comfortable throwing in a game? I mean, the game dictates that, I mean, to be honest with you. So, like, if it's a stressful innings, a lot of stressful innings, then, yeah, like, the, the, the pitches kind of matter a little bit more. So 100 may feel like 130, but um, sometimes 130 feels like 90. So it all depends on the game. How cognizant are you coming in that, you know, the bullpen's <clears throat> gotten a lot of work lately with all the games and if you can go deeper you really yeah I mean like, like I said I mean my mindset hasn't changed um, from any outing I, I, I try to go nine every time I'm not trying to strike anybody out really for the most part it's just it's more so just kind of give the bullpen a day off and that's that's basically it I mean that's what I've tried to do the last couple of years and it's seemed to work how does, how does your kind of repertoire allow you to work through three or four times through a lineup, just having the number of pitches that yeah, you do? Yeah, I, I definitely I think it's a big factor of I could I could go three pitches at you, one or two at-bats, and then I can go three different pitches at you the next two at-bats or whatever it may be. So, um, yeah, it makes it easy on me. Did the, with the stressful innings there in the middle, did the 114 feel like 114 tonight, or did it feel like No, good? I feel good. I feel really good. Um, and that was the reason I came out. I mean, I, I've, I've always told I've told Buck and I've told everyone in the past that I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. If I'm done at 100, I'll tell you I'm done at 100. But I told him I was good to go, so he let me go. Are you frustrated? Level of appreciation from Buck that he allows you to go this far this often? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I take a lot of pride in it, and um him kind of giving me that nod of approval definitely makes it a lot easier to kind of work your butt off in between starts. I'll say, I'll say that. This is a few starts now recently where a lot of soft contact has resulted in hits. I mean, how do you kind of get over, I'm sure it's frustrating when you're out there, but how do you kind of just... Yeah, it's, part, it's part of it. I mean, honestly, it means I'm doing things right. If I'm getting soft contact, it means I'm doing things right. But hard contact, uh, like a lot of balls are like from Moustakis. I'm searching, so... Weak contact don't bother me.